Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld, where David and Eric are beating the crud out of a couple of centipedes over here. <laughs> I already had Eric take down the, uh, the scythers, the three out of four that hadn't uh, gone down completely. I had Natalia take out the scyther blades that were available, and we've got a couple of machine... Uh, what is, click me there. Miniguns sitting there underneath. So let's see what's happening over here. Eric, character, and melee. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? No advancement at all. David, melee. 1,002 out of 2,000. Nothing. So taking down a centipede doesn't do anything. Wow, I did not expect that. That's kind of like block cutting does nothing for crafting. Well, that's a bummer. I guess it only counts if you go after something that can fight back. Okay, well, now we know. David, right there. Let's see, consume a fine meal. And then when you're done, haul in a minigun. Uh, not equip, haul. There we go. And Eric, you're still whacking away at that one, but... I guess it does no good. Let's just verify that one more time. Right there. Yeah, still at the 982. So I may as well just uh, have you shut it down. Modifications, add bill, and shut down. And uh, you were, when we were watching, you were at 1002 and you still are. So it's not like a bonus accumulated and gave it to you when you finished the job. So, yeah. Okay. You... Health, shut down, Eric. Oh, I gotta take you out of there. Now you can equip, prioritize hauling. Why can't I have you shut that down? Hauling, cleaning. Cannot. Let's pause for a little bit and let the game catch up. Hauling, scyther, cleaning, cleaning. Not assigned to crafting. Oh, okay. That's what it is. So, work and Eric and crafting. Give you a four over there just so that you're capable of doing it. Um, okay, we'll try that again. There we go. Hauling, cleaning, modifying centipede. There it is. And you can just turn them off. Click. Well, it's not a click. It's a, it's a weld for about 15 seconds. Ah, okay. And when you're done with that, you can haul this one in. Then you can haul this one in. And there's another scyther blade in there somewhere. Right in there. So who's around here? Let's specifically get those in. So right in there, David come and haul the scyther blade away. Then we'll let the pigs get the rest of it. And dogs, in fact, you're all back into this area again, right? Did I get to that right there? So the dogs are back in there. The pigs are back in the whole area. Yeah, everything's back to normal. I had, through the night, or beforehand you went in, I had her repair the two turrets that were left and put them away. One's there, one is there. So they're 100% ready for next time. That worked out pretty good. My plan was to get them into the gauntlets and, you know, fight them in here. But two out of the three made it and took down six mechs and the ship along with us shooting from various places so if we had one two three four five then we probably would not have lost a single turret so it might behoove us to make three more and just put them on a shelf somewhere down in, in our new storage area right in here when this gets built and that'll be ready for uh, the next ship that drops in on us just surround it turn them on and walk away well not walk away we'll assist them too but I think that might be the, the master plan there. So Eric needs... Actually... Oh, Handy's still sleeping. Okay. While you're down here then, go ahead and tear this area down. So that one. Get all of these torn down. Get the uh, the blocks hauled back in. And I went ahead and marked all the rest of this for tear down. Maybe we'll go ahead and get the other build. Well, it's it's... Yeah, we probably should, because we do have equipment in here that an enemy would love to destroy. Yeah, that's probably so. So we'll go ahead and get these built, and we'll 
we'll get to that. Anyway, so that adventure is done. And you guys, Natalia is probably going to be the one to head over here and start disassembling them. I would think so. And we're going to get quite a bit of plasteel out of all that. So when we find our new total, we'll decide whether or not it's the right timing to go ahead and and uh, assemble three more of those plasteel turrets. Anyway, I think we're heading into here next. In fact, let's just pause a second. Handy is taking a meal, so she's already eaten. Good. So you go ahead and take that meal, and you want to build a roof. What roof? What did I do over here? Oh. Okay, you, you want to add one more section there. It's going to drive you nuts until you do. What are you? You're a lynx. Need. Oh, you already were there. Hmm. Yeah, you're going to... You're going to... Uh, rub up against somebody wanting to build that roof, aren't you? Well, I think we'll be okay. But Handy, let's get you over here. Let's get you disassembling this area. Anything will collapse if I do this? I don't think so. I can take out the center and we're fine. So why don't you come over here and Handy, not a lynx, and bottom one. Disassemble this whole area. Deconstruct. Right there. Take all of these out. We'll get new ones hauled in. In fact, I can have somebody else haul them in while you're tearing this stuff down. They can go right into uh, repairing them. Um, these stools need to go away. Yeah. So, cancel those. Uh, handy, you got to there. So, I'm going to have you just deconstruct the whole area. What's underneath that? Deconstruct power conduit also, yes. And you are a power conduit. These are in the wrong place. I need to get them inside the walls. So that door there. So much clicking. I think you can handle all that. If not, we'll add a few more to it. But go ahead and get all those. And this one too is in the wrong place. So deconstruct that. Why is that door there? Oh, it reversed when this piece of wall came out or something like that. Okay, so you're going to do all that. Oh, I left the building roof in there. <laughs> Fine, I'm not going to re-click all that. Tomislav, what are you up to? You are right there eating a meal. Needs, gear. I'm going to leave you alone in case you automatically trigger to go and work on Schmidt or something. Klaus is still sleeping. Schmidt is fully healed. There it is. Okay, then Tomislav is playing horseshoes because it's 10 o'clock. Needs don't really need it so what can I get you to do other than research let's get you to take over part of this too at least take over this back end over here this part of what handy was going to be doing you can take care of those okay and rabbit you are going to be sewing like crazy we've got to replant everything in fact I learned something Noticed it a couple episodes ago, but I didn't make comment of it. Cathra, in her needs here, had a big bonus over here because she had planted 18 things or something like that. We've always focused on Cathra as being abrasive, which is kind of fun, and artistic because of the double passion. But I keep forgetting about this green thumb hiding down over here. She's she's wanting to be a uh, you know. Uh, a gardener will put it that way and gets a big bonus for it, which means no more moods mood problems on Cathra when she's doing it so I have reworked her to be first a warden like Klaus was she was the best backup there's an eight for David there's Klaus at 18 so I've always had him doing it but we better start training up a backup so I set her to warden and then I set her to grow so I think that's now her her main. Um, though we do want to drop back into art eventually when that happens. So she's probably, her cleaning life is probably over. Someone else is going to have to get that task now. And then David, I went ahead and set him for Warden 1 as well, and, and he can pop in and help out Klaus, because Klaus has got so many other good skills. I kind of want him, you know, not glued to this room all the time. Though that the chances of actually getting these folks in here is much better when uh, when Klaus is doing the job. Now, we had Cheetah take some serious damage. Got a crushed left eye. Um, sight is now poor, which means there's no aiming. Uh, character, there's no shooting anyway. I think Cheetah is a, uh, 
is someone to say goodbye to. So we're going to prisoner set you for release. Someone will take you off and out of here and, and set you free. Who else? Schmidt, I kind of wanted because I've got the next person on the list that I think would fit this character well. At least, yeah, we've got, you know, passion for shooting, good cooking, so back up there, good art. So I think this one's a keeper. Um, purple as well. Health. So we've got a right leg and a right little toe, so we're going to be not walking very quickly. And Schmidt had a bad back. So there's this pluses and minus to all of them really oyster as well brain has a stab scar so everything's weakened so i'm thinking oyster is the next one to let loose so prisoner you are released also and knowing Rimworld, here in another couple of episodes we're going to get a whole new batch to to move in and pick from so i think that is the best choice for those two we'll keep working with the others if they never recruit then maybe the next batch will be the batch we go for shantigo is relaxing socially needs kind of needs it too when you come back let's hmm pause now oh, tomasov's already assigned let's get somebody else to move this meal real quick bugsy still isn't healed needs our health well 30 out of 30 40 out of 40 and 30 out of 30 it's all about to happen just took a lot longer but it still looks like nothing's going to be permanent here who can move this one meal for me who is around here nobody in there over here natalia michael you are sneaking off you're playing horseshoes needs you don't need it as bad your mood's pretty good if you can get rid of this for me you will not haul <laughs> do you need to eat it no don't even need to do that so all right then we'll do it well guess we'll just have to oh klaus thank you for for uh, for uh, volunteering appreciate that that's all i needed okay oh you're gonna go into there yeah you can do some uh, some chatting up with the with the, the folks in there and release somebody so i wanted that happen so i can get shantigo to when he's done come over here and are we almost out of meat again there's no stacks of 75 left nothing up in there Wow, I'm going to have to do another another hunt soon. Well, when you're done, come on over here and haul some boomalope and then haul some berries. Yeah, you know, the berries are mostly there. And wood is 31 out of 51. Go ahead and, and Shantigo, restock your stove, and you're good for, uh, for making meals. Okay, so Sangria is over here relaxing socially. Then I assume she's going... <laughs> There's our naked cowboy over there. Um, she's probably heading up into this area soon. So what's up in this area? We're fine over here. Anything vicious that wants to come after us? Lots of animals. Lots of little animals. In fact, we're getting to a point where it would be a really good idea to get some folks out there. Bugsy's healed. And uh, working on training up their shooting skills on rabbits and squirrels. So early... Actually, where are we? Late spring? Late spring is when everything comes back to life. Got a fox down here who can't get into us unless he goes all the way around. That lynx was in this area. Where did that lynx go? You gotta think about that. That lynx could be heading down and into us. All right, pause. Where did that lynx go? He's not in our yard, right? I'm not seeing him. Let's assume he's not and look out into here. He was in here, wasn't he? Okay, right there. All right. So, needs. He is still too... Hmm. Who's down here that can shoot? Anybody? Rabbit, you nearby? Rabbit is out here right now. Rabbit, I'm going to commandeer you. Eric's over there. I don't think I want to go thump-thump with the lynx. So, Eric, come on over here. Let's take care of this, this problem. Lynx is up in here. Um... Break down granite auto door. Okay. How best to do this? You've got a sniper. Let's take you out to about here. Actually, right there. See if we can reach and keep you out of the mud so you can move quicker. I'm going to take you down into the gauntlet if need be. Uh, Sangria is not out here. No, Churchill. Got our own dogs out here, but I don't think that's too much of a problem. Can you fire at? You can. Can you uh, one-shot it? Ah, not anymore. Go ahead and head up into here, then. Right there. Is he going to move again? 
Ah, oh, he might stay in range. Oh, it's a long warm-up. Nope, out of range. Okay, well, um, better pathway? Not really. Let's just... Oh, that's not mud there. Okay, go ahead and move forward. Right there. There we go. Now we got a shot at it. He's coming toward us. Yeah, you're doing it. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Good job. Um, though, why don't you go ahead and... Eh? You're not drafted. Why can't you haul? Because you're still cooling down. No, there's still no haul. How about now? There's still no haul. Consume and cannot bury. Sangra, can you haul? Why can these... Oh, that was an X. I thought it was just a blood spot. All right. Now, rabbit. Okay, Sangre, you take it. You come over here and haul this one in. Uh, consume, haul. Great. All right, that's done. And there was a fox over here. Oyster's leaving. Okay. So that should give us a bonus. I think Oyster was a quart of menial. We'll see. If it saws, then we're not going to get anything. I'm not seeing... Oh, there's a wolf over here now. And needs... You're good for a while. I think we'll ignore you. Though if we do send somebody up hunting, which maybe next episode we'll do that, then we do need to take out the predators first. We don't have to worry about them. All right, Cordomino, 15 more factions. So one more, and we're no longer hostile with them. Okay. Uh, which auto door was it? Right over there, and it's already been taken care of. All right, then. So, everything has been done over here. Let's get somebody from this area. I see Michael, who is making blocks, which are 320 and 486. Let's keep Michael doing that. So, Tomislav, you can bring back. Let's, let's finish this right here first. That will be an auto door. So, that right there. Copy. You're going into there. This will be a... Marble wall to there. Okay. So everything's laid out. Door in. We're going to go through here, put a new door in. So this area's not ready yet. But everything else looks pretty good. So, Thomas, I'll bring the blocks in for this. Uh, marble wall. Okay. Oh, you can collect all these. Nice. Do all that before the, uh, the dogs and pigs do it for you and make you walk all the way back. Alright, so we're going to take care of those. And go ahead and work on, no, work on that one. Okay, and now can you uh, work on that one? And handy is deconstruct a wooden door. Great. And that is all of the deconstructing. Okay, so, hmm. Handy, what next? Go ahead and get these laid out. Let's get everything in place. That way, when I'm not watching you and you just want something to do, you can start filling all the stuff in. Right there. So go ahead and... Tomasov, you are quick. You want to drop off something over there. Okay. So Tomasov, you work on the rest of these as far as bringing more marble blocks to us. And who else is around that in this area that can bring some wood over? Sangria, you want to tame a muffalo... But you're where I need you. There's nobody else near the wood. Do this on your way to tame the muffalo. Bring over enough wood to... Actually, that's not it. This one over here. To get that one going. Actually, better yet, bring it to do... Okay, do this one as well then. That's what I want. You drop them all off, then take off. And Handy doesn't have to make the run. She can just stay here and just build and build and build. But you are still working. Good. Inspiration Work Frenzy, who is it? Handy, ooh, good timing. So, Handy has just been inspired. She'll work two and a half times faster for the next 24 hours. Great. So let's just keep this area, f look at that. I've never seen walls going that quick. Oh, can you guys even get there fast enough to dump off the supplies? <laughs> okay, so you are hauling wood. I wondered about that. So I gave her both orders from here, knowing that when she finished the first one, the closest wood would be over here. But she's still going back to where I gave her the orders over here to get it. 
Okay, well that kind of answers that. Wow, let's have Handy just kind of get the kitchen done. I mean, let's set her all, all the smoothing. How's your food? Can we... Well, we get, we're good on food for quite a while. So, Tomasov, bring over all of the the marble for this area as well. In fact, for that matter, no. Let's um, cancel that. What can we do? Bring over the supplies for that. Michael, are you still down here? You're closer to the marble uh, blocks. So you bring over what's needed to get all the, uh, the marble up in this area. Another breakdown. Orbital Trade Beacon. Go to right over there. All right, somebody, Eric or David, will take care of that. Um, I kind of want to see what everybody else is doing, but she snuck away from me. I want to now let somebody else deal with that. You come and work on this one, and when you're bored with that, come over and do this one. Let's just keep you going. All right, Michael's bringing more blocks over. Someone else can get the order. Eric, you are working down in here kind of sealing us up. What do we have here? Okay, that is kind of the edge of this area here. And we want to get this sealed over here. Klaus is working in this area. David's working over... He's going to repair the orbital trade beacon. Good. Okay, that's that works out perfectly. So all the construction's going on. Handy's going to work on these. Here comes all of that. Tomasov's bringing all kinds of steel over. We're all going to get these guys going. And conduit over here too. Oh, great! Got one more. You got one more. Okay. So handy when you're done. You are building marble wall up in there. Let's get these two deconstructed. And right there. Okay. After that one, get those done. Um, there's a block that goes here. Hair self tame. Well, this is an eventful episode. Where am I? About 20 some minutes into this. A hair has self tamed. You jump to location. You're out over here. I don't really want to get into the bunny business. I really don't know that I want to do that. Though I guess we could keep a, a mascot bunny around like we have our mascot deer, Hachiko. I suppose we could. Animals and hair. Where are you going to be listed? You're right over there. All right, you're going into the grazing area, which means you get both places. And we'll go ahead and... Oh, we got to click all these. Were there puppies? I didn't see the puppies. Okay, well, you're back. You're, you're in the grazing area. That one has already trained. And I guess these guys could be in the grazing area as well. I, I did too many. You are the dog area. You are grazing, grazing, and you're grazing. While boars that are hauling, or that are haulable, they are there. All right, that looks right. I don't think I missed anything. Okay, so we've got a hair. <laughs> anyway, um, what was I gonna do? Over in here. So tiles. I gotta do it this way. I wanted. I'm pausing so that I can make sure that. That uh, sterile tiles that these guys hang around. Ah, we've got to cancel that. And we get as much done as possible while Handy's willing to do it. Those right there, sterile tiles. You're now going to be out over here and there and there. Thomas Slav, why don't you bring more parts in for those? And this light gets moved over, so reinstall you there. And the other one is still around. Standing lamp is right there. Yeah. Okay. So, Handy, your next job is to go ahead and move that one. I'm working on standing lamp. Okay. And then I want a stove. We're going to put all these back in again. Production. And where are the where are the stoves? Fueled smithy. Okay. Where are the stove? There we go. Electric stove. And no choice anymore of what to make it from. I can't do it till she does that. So we'll just... We'll get this one in, and then we'll get a fueled stove in right there, and we'll get another chair while it's still here. Thank you. There, there, and there. And then we'll make a copy of this one, put it there. 1800, get four more hours out of handy. Needs, 
I think I can do it. Okay. So with that going there, get all these in place. Um, Michael, why don't you come up here and start bringing me parts for the stove there. Tomislav Sangre, you are smoothing floor. How'd you get stuck on that job? Clear taming muffalo. You go ahead and do what you wanted to get done today. Needs, you still have enough food to do it. Okay, so tell you what, David, you are grabbing a fine meal. Then I want you, I bet you, oh, you that's right, you've got enough skill to at least bring over parts. Let's have you bring over parts for that one. Eric, where are you at right now? You are getting a sealed up down here. Good job. So we need to get this going too. You are resting. 18 needs. You worked through the night, kind of odd hours, so I'm going to let you do that. Um, Klaus. Kathra is talking to them, okay. Where's Klaus at? Right over here. Releasing Cheetah. Okay, I guess we'll do that one. And when you're done, what are you going to do? Michael is bringing over more parts. Whatever happened to Tomislav? He was bringing stuff over. He's grabbing silver. Okay, so silver for the floors. Otherwise, Andy is still just constructing everything in sight. So Michael, when you're done with that, come on over and get parts coming in for this piece. <clears throat> that was a quick heart-to-heart -heart talk there, deep talk between them. Uh, Tomislav's over there. All right, what else is going on? Batteries. Be nice to get into the bank going, get those charged up. Puppies over there. That's the two new ones over there. Right over here, filling them all in. Okay, uh, David, bring over conduit parts. Get this all filled in. Tomislav. So we filled in. Everything's got parts. They've got supplies now. Bring over wood. Bringing over the wood to do that. Michael, you are hauling components. You're still bringing stuff. Good. And I think I've lost a handy. Handy is building marble wall. Building marble wall. Where are you? Okay. So what I was thinking of right here. Well, Andy, actually, let's keep you in here. Why don't you work on reserve for Michael. Reserve for Michael. Work on this one. Um, I'm thinking about chem fuel storage in here. I don't know if I mentioned that last time or not, but I think that would be a place to get it behind uh, sewn walls in here with doors in between each of the, the generators. Maybe move these. These generators move? They don't. Maybe deconstruct and move around and, and compact several more into the space if we need to. Um, David is building power conduits. Good. Tomislav is bringing parts. Handy's grabbing a meal. She already did. And throwing those in. And is this still reserved by Michael? It is. What is Michael doing? Right there. Calling components. Okay. That one is done. Tomislav's building that. Bring me more wood over here, Tomislav. And he will zip these together as soon as the uh, uh, components arrive. There goes Cheetah. And boom. Goodwill. Relations with the Accord Menu have warmed. They are no longer hostile to you. Which is probably better. They're the ones that give us the 99% difficulty people to recruit from. So that means we have a smaller pool to draw from for raids. Just the the saws and the saber donkeys, which are folks that are a little better, a little closer to our culture, so they will not be as difficult to recruit. So that may be a long term a good thing for us. Um, with that, David, you are calling in a night. That's fine. Um, Handy zipping all these things together, and wow, that wow, built really quick. We need power in this area. So Michael, you are. Cutting stone. Let's look at power before you go away. So production uh, power. We're tapping out of here, but I'm thinking about getting rid of this idea and tapping out of here instead. So that means we're not going to have power for a while. Okay. So in that case, Michael, why don't you bring over all of the blocks to fill in this area? Tomislav, as soon as you do that, bring over all the blocks to fill in this area. Handy, you are going to work on this because there is nothing else to 
do. All the sterile tiles are in? Yeah, this one might not be, but I think we've got a lot done here. Good. And smooth floors. The stretch through here. Back for that matter, the pathway into here too. Okay. And may as well get all of these pathways, at least to there. Um, no, that's not a pathway, actually. Clear these. Oops, didn't mean to do that. That was a cooler. So, actually, I've got one right over here. Uh, build a copy right there. That was supposed to be a cooler. Okay. So what's happening here? You're filling in the blanks, you're filling in the blanks. All right. Handy has... Oh, she's in there. I didn't see her. Okay, those are done. And you're resting. I'm going to make full use of this. No. Oh, dining chair, you need more wood. Uh, pull out of that, which means you've got to go to there. Pass on that one. Handy, let's get you working on blocks. How fast can you pull through this whole room right here? Actually, let's do that a little different. So do that one. Pause. Clear. Let's just do the ones that are next to this opening over here. And then we'll call that a night. So we're good to there. Then come to this one. Okay. And with that, I'd say we have, have a, had a successful day. By the time she gets up tomorrow, because she's going to bed late, her inspiration is going to be just about to wear off. So, right there and right there. Okay. All right. Well, that, that was a good day. Tomasov, you are doing what? Resting. Oh, I thought this was going into there. Okay. Resting. Before you do, go and do some cleaning. In fact, I kind of started doing that last... Uh, in between episodes, when I send them to bed, or when they're heading to bed, like Eric, or Rabbit, you know, on your way in here, actually, this is all pretty clean. It is. Got any, any dirt out in here? Smooth. Okay, you're good. And there's some dirt right there, but, um, Handy Sangria is taking rice, so when you head to bed, which I assume is now, or 2300, clean that up before you go to bed. And then, Gathra, you are resting from sewing. How much sewing got done? So we got this area started again. Um, are, we're still good in here. We didn't affect the plants in this area. Good. Because that's our next round of food. We got back into here a little bit, and we got all of this done. And nobody's hauled anything in. Uh, Natalia's just getting up. She may spend the night doing that. Okay. So that is Kathra, who is on her way to bed over here. And I don't see any dirt on the floor in this area, so she's fine. Natalia. So it's a little bit of uh, of uh, micromanaging, but I don't have to send, set somebody to cleaning all the time. Just kind of you know clean up the area right around your your area, and, and it'll be fine. Miss B's down here. Okay, so we'll come back to her. And everyone else is asleep. Okay, so Miss B, you are what? You're just starting your day. Let's get this area completed. And then back to this area. And then when all that is done, you'll drop into these, which I see is really good over here. We've got a bunch of steel to work on. And I see another round of it over here. Good. Now, I had them punch into each of the rooms so that I could go through if I wanted to and set a vent into them and then set the doors into them like so and then they can get these built and we can punch out the middle whenever we feel like it so that's eh, just a little tactic I tried we're running right yeah so Natalia right there there you are you are working on something here why one cowboy hat is left okay um, Natalia needs your food is fine cowboy hat will be done here in less than a minute so when you're done, you're going to work on this next, which means you're going to haul all those in and tear them down. Otherwise, do we get the important stuff hauled in? I see they didn't get hauled in because we no longer have a zone for them to be hauled to. That used to be over in this area, and we gave up on that. It was right outside 
this door over here or something. Yeah, this used to be a way out. And we've boxed it all in. So she's just going to have to make the run all the time. Is there anything wrong with that? Probably not. It'll still all be done in this one night. Yeah, that'll be fine. So, Miss P, you did get down into this area. You did. Good. Let's lay out some more walls here. So, that is hallway. This wall is actually right here. And right in there, which is a door. So, vent there. Vent there. Door there and there. All right, that all looks right. And then we want door, that's what I'm on? Yeah, door is going to be here and here. You are a door and you are a door. Okay, so that's all done. We need more wall. Finishing off that. Uh, through here, like so, like that. Those are all in. And we're just waiting on the rest. Okay, another couple of ticks and I'll drop one in there. And Bugsy is pregnant. And this one's almost ready to fill in all the blanks. Good. A couple more apartments are just about there. Then we need to get conduit down into these to get everything lit up. And how are the temperatures inside now? Right in there. There we are, 62 degrees. So it's always going to stay a little bit cool in here. Which means the heaters will always run for, you know, off and on, through even through the summer. Or we just say 62 is good enough. There's no hint of them sleeping in the cold or anything like that going on. So that should be fine. Eric, you're up already? Meditating? Needs? Yep, you got up really early last time, so we, you went to bed early. So you're back to, to working or, or getting up early. What is there for you to do? I guess you could bring materials to here and there. So when you're done with that, needs, you already had your food, then bring in this and then bring in supplies for those doors and then bring in supplies for this then bring in supplies for these doors which is different from this door so really you're just kind of delivering a whole bunch of supplies and that's all you'll do you drop off the blocks and everything that needs a second kind of material you'll probably just move on to the next job when they're all queued like that so these are all ready for conduit um david needs you are going to need a meal okay so, Eric, I guess you could drop off conduit supplies, too. And then you can drop off these. So you're just kind of delivering everything. Yeah. So I don't think you're going to pause to actually build any of them. You're just going to deliver supplies and move on to the next job. Shantico's on his way to the kitchen, which is low on meat. Your first job is to haul that in. And the rice will be fine. And the stove, 32, go ahead and add that to your list and you won't need to uh, uh, refuel the stove again today. Okay, so you're good and we're out of meat. So I guess next episode is, is another hunt. Anything move in lately besides all the little stuff? Well, we got this big guy over here and we have a wolf. What are you, a couple of Ibex right in there? Not really enough to justify a big hunt. So I think what I'll do after this episode is over is go through and mark every squirrel and turtle and rat and turkey. Um, that may be all, but something else if I can think of it. Natalia's hauling the beast in. And we'll see if... Uh, we'll, I'll pick three or four um, people that need, need uh, shoot, shooting training. And send them on their way. Otherwise, you know what? There is something else that could really be done. Handy needs... You're going to grab a meal when you get up. In fact, I'm going to get you up right now. Consume a meal. Let's get this going while you still have some of that inspiration left. Work frenzy. I get no pop-ups. I don't know when that expires. And let's get in here and do these. Then you're going to do this. And you're going to do this. The smelter and the crematorium. Let's get these finally operational, and maybe we will tear all this down and get everything hauled in and burned or something like that. Everything up in here, too. Kind of like that. Otherwise, do we have anybody else still set to growing? Alicia is still set to growing. Okay. And then Cathra and Rabbit. And then Sangria is set to growing, which she's not um, handling. And then Tomislav is also set to grow, but his construction is first. Let's go ahead and take the construction off 
get the growing going, get everything planted again. Let's take full advantage of what's left of summer for us. Okay, Natalia's hauling that last one in for the day, I'm guessing. Um, let's set up a quick little area over here so that the dogs can bring uh, more of the mechs over while she's sleeping tonight. Zone, dumping pile, um, something like that. Storage, clear all. We'll make it critical for mechs. So corpses and mechanoids. There's no other choices, just take all mechanoids. Okay, successfully tamed an alpaca right over there. That's the last of the, al the, of the wild alpacas. So you are heading into here, animals. Alpaca five. So right there and set you to here. And alpaca one or two that was 17 years old is still holding strong. Where are you? Let's take a roll call here. You are two. Three years old, so I need one. Three, one. Seventeen years old still. And health. Front leg, old gunshot. Otherwise, no hint of any more heart problems, so we'll just see how that works. Forty some minutes into this. And Handy, where did you end up? You are grabbing components. Great. So and there's still steel over here, thirty-five. And I'm sure a pig is already on its way to go and get more steel. No, not you. Somebody will be. You haul it in. What's our steel look like right now? That's right over there. 390. It may be a good idea to go ahead and um, orders get some local steel going. We'll get that group and, well, at least into there. Okay, we'll see where that goes from there. Anything else showing up on our edges? Just these guys, and I have that marked already. So who is that? Miss P, you're finishing the day? What was that? Minor break. We haven't had one of those in a long time. Natalia. Ah, clear. Let's get you just inside the doors. And then you go consume a fine meal. So, yeah, that priority button. That's really a mess. Okay, you're going to grab a meal. Needs then you will just head off to sleep and you'll be fine. But that meal should do you well, except for beauty is at the bottom in this room. Michael, when you're done, why don't you do some... You won't clean. Neither, the two unwilling cleaners are out here. You're, you want so bad to get that muffalo. Okay, I'll leave you alone this time. <laughs> All right, so we've got this guy going. And sucking lots of power. Electric smelter. Designate. Let's see. There's no bills. There's a bill. Add bill. You will smelt metal from slag or smelt weapons or destroy weapons. We're just going to smelt from slag. That's not what I wanted. Right there. And do forever. And I don't want a range that spans the whole globe. So details. Let's take this down to a um, little bit past, so something like 70. I wonder why it doesn't show you anything after 60. Kind of odd. Anyway, no other choices. Take to best stockpile, just drop on floor, and we're good. Don't know who will be chosen to work on that next. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that's crafting, so there's a few possibilities. Handy's still throwing things together. You got both of those done? No, handy. Why don't you run back over here and get this one going? And conduit issues over here or what? Uh, power. Everything looks like it is supposed to. You guys are tapping off of this one correctly. Up here, power is still fine. Through the switch to there. That all looks good. Successfully tamed a muffalo. All right. So we are back into the situation where we're going to desperately need this hay grass to be put in. So we've got Tomislav, good, you are working in the grass, um, or working at growing. What do we have over here? You and no sangrias and muffalos are down there, there, and that one. And I think this is all correct right now. Okay, so yeah, the idea was for these guys to have their own separate place away from all the other animals. And then we started, I started realizing 
the advantage of having this available for all the animals. So we're still in the situation now where we got explodey things with all of our animals. May have to think about another barn over here that gives just a little area just for the boomalopes and nothing else. Yeah, maybe with a pathway that shoots through here and another barn and an outlet over there and just give them a little area. I have to think about that. The whole point has now been, you know, kind of side railed. All right, you guys are planting over here. Handy's getting this one built. Do you still have your work frenzy going? You do. That's got to be ending here real soon. We have a kitchen for the most part. We just need power into this area and then smoothing and then we need to get all the coolers up and running and we need to guarantee power so really before this can get going i need a uh, another run of uh, of of generators no longer work frenzy which means we need to figure out where to put those generators i mean this is really getting crowded they can be anywhere as long as it's this side of the river maybe they are going to be where the freezer was that could be little generator power substation over here hmm this side of the river well I have to think about that one give me your thoughts if you have any ideas I'm not willing to use any of the grass any of the uh, the dirt areas that are going to be left after our our main entrance is done new recruit oh I hung around just long enough what have we got Successfully recruited Schmidt. Jump to right there. Who is getting rid of that horrible shirt? Uh huh. So I think we're going to stop right here. David recruited? David recruited. Good job. Is it? It didn't say anymore. But it will say here Schmidt social. Uh, listen to recruitment from David, and Schmidt has accepted. All right. So it was a good call to get Catherine David assigned to social as well. So, when we come back, I will introduce who Schmidt is going to be, and otherwise, what? Probably think more about these, think more about the kitchen, and just do some miscellaneous stuffs, like maybe get uh, marble, all the marble that we've got hauled into this area and get it ready for, for some construction, get all the this area lit up and whatnot, beds built into them. I um, want to get these cells opened up, so we've got seven available. That should be a good number to get us going. So we're looking at actually five, uh, 10, 11, 12, so a dozen potential prisoners for the next prison break. Oh, joy. But um, need lighting in there. I need a place to get rid of all of these chunks. We've got so many of them, and we've got nowhere to put them inside the base anymore. So having them convenient for the cutting benches, which really need to go somewhere else anyway. There needs to be a bedroom. So I need to rethink where this area is going to be. Well, everything's going to be doing some major swapping soon. The block cutting could be where the prison was or where the refrigerator was once everything is moved over to here. Yeah, I've got to come up with the, uh, with the, the flow chart here. To get everything actually working maybe one of these big bedrooms that's kind of a central point you know it is until we have a couple we could smooth this out really quick move the block cutting over here a couple of statues and and start storing blocks in these halls and in this void over here i might now i'll sit here and think about all this for a while see if i can figure out how to do it because there's stuff just you know stacked on the floors all through here and there's nowhere to move them away to so it's kind of tough anyway it's been noble rambler thanks guys for watching and i'll catch you next time bye bye